Yeah. Man. Season dos. Yeah. So I want to just put it in the street. Dos. You know, with the people looking at. Uh, Big Easy and the Rat King back. back. Rat King coming, looking like he about to run for president with the sponsor by Polo and the whole right nine. Quick. Polo get at us yeah, first. Right we quick. looking for sponsors. Yeah, I mean, and then up. I come with the all white. Because you got to understand, understand me. me. I feel like God. I it do. <laughs> so, look, we, we closed the season. We closed season one off, you know, coming off Ida. Every yep. day felt like a year. Yep. You know, new city. You had to get the, the fresh cut. Let them know that black don't crack. Yeah. You know, I had to I had to go back grinding. Yeah, you know. I had to go back grind. I thought about wearing the camo, but pledge yeah. it out. You're right here, pledge it out. Yeah. Right, about to take it back to the Speaking pledge. of which, it's definitely pledging season. It's definitely pledging season. Definitely definitely pledging season. Definitely the pledging clothes season. are pledging season. So yeah. look, we're gonna dip right into it. Yeah. We got, you know, the NO been bubbling. Over yeah, the last man. several months, I don't want give him too much airtime, but I gotta go off though. So I, I you know, I, I got, I, I got, was, some, yeah, you, I got, yeah, I got you some. Go you know, I was, I was, I was fortunate enough to, uh, oh, <clears throat> to, to, to find some beyond comfortable living arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, starting to let the roots start to grow around. You know, no. that some of the things that let you know you're you're in the house comfortably is when you start getting mail. Mm. You know, so I got a little piece of mail. You know, it's a calendar. I'm like, damn, you know, it's hot, how how thoughtful for somebody to send me a calendar yeah. to help Black me. Black History out, my calendar. You know, help me figure Old out. Official. Yeah, you know, help me, yeah. Yeah, help me keep my, my agenda in line. You know, focus. A lot I'm, of stuff I'm, going hey, on. Look, look. So Inno got rich history. So I'm looking at the calendar and um I'm like, damn, I'm like, this and then they'll just stop. Who would and be the, so nice? And the the first thing I could think of Who would be was, so nice? I I gotta call my brother. I got I gotta call my co host, I gotta call my roommate. Got to call my road partner, yeah. my road dog, my partner in crime. Yeah. I got like I got I got to expose him to this piece of information. Yeah. So what would you think? What you think about the, man. About the calendar? So I, 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 I got the you got same, one too. I got it. Oh, right. I got thing. it. And you know what? I looked at it and then I had I checked my email too. Uh huh. Got a you know the poll. The poll. You got the poll. The poll. The poll. That he the. the Poll. The Se- email called it a survey. When you use the definite article, duh, you are implying some singularity. Yeah. So, so I, I, I let that go. Yeah. He yeah. used the term, or the organization used the term, the survey. And I'm like, yeah, it, I mean, I see which, the connection. Which would lead you to think that there's some multiplicity. There. Yeah. Right, man, so a survey, right? And I was like, yeah, I, I recognize it come from the same, same person. I really, I'm like, I'm dismissive of that. Didn't really see a lot of activity yeah. over the last, you know, four to six months. So, bus open the calendar, got the N.O. history, black history and all that. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, okay, he bowed it, you know. He ready to take action. He, you know, going into re-election season, the whole nine, he trying to get his name back out there. Yep. Completely new presentation to the people. This nigga asked one question. In the survey. One question, dog. In the survey. Multiple choice. Yeah. You could select. Yeah, at least it was that. You could select multiple it, At least it was that, though. You could select multiple At answers. least it was that. So, dog, yeah. I have. Yeah, 24 I, hours to respond please, to that. I, your phone doing the technology stuff, my phone out of reach. I'm <laughs> definitely not about to ask Siri or Google to look up the rep- the United States representative for the second district Siri of Siri gonna week. say, did we do this already? Yeah! <laughs> like, why are we doing this again? Yeah! <laughs> Just hit research. You search, are though. a clown! Recent search. I get... Warnock emails, I get Beto O'Rourke, I get Robinette, I get Love Kamala, emails. I get emails from everybody. Out and about. The one email I get from you is a one question survey? 
Come on, man. Yeah, multiple choice, bro. Yo! You, get, you had the opportunity to select multiple concerns as a citizen. And then the yeah. one question yeah. Yeah, he asked hours. was most important. I don't even know what the multiple choice I don't know if it was select all that apply or I think whatever. Had, I think two. I think you had at you had two. two. Yeah, yeah. Max, max two. Dog. Amen. So I'm gonna run. Dog, I was thinking about this during That's the break, bro. That boy is a hoe. So I'm gonna just call it out. I'm still debating on whether or not to support an opponent for his reelection bid or to throw my hat in the ring, dog. Over the last. Whatever, whatever, you know, these last four to six months, I didn't been to every parish you represent. You know, I didn't spend time umpiring uh, and, and, and playing in sugarcane baseball Pirates. league game. Yeah, yeah. I didn't been to school board meetings in your parishes. Dog, you are. People's, like, Daily lives that they'll be discussing at a at a game, Dog, just great. discussing about the, the the things that's affecting great. daily life in their community. Like you'll talk about that kind of shit at a game. You talk about that kind of shit at a community meeting, or you know, like just in the street dealing with people, like walking the community, just stopping, sitting on somebody's porch. Like that's in that, addition, that's, that's how you do your real. That's like, how you do your work. How you do your real work. I be, I ain't dog. No. I. I oh, was wait, wait. involved. In I them. got a shout out OT on the ground. Yeah. On the ground. On the ground. I got to shout him out. When I was on the ground doing this Ida recovery work, dog, not one person mentioned the representative, the United States representative for the 2nd Congressional District of Louisiana. Right. I done been to East Baton Rouge Parish, Ascension Parish, Jefferson Parish. Orleans Parish, uh, I'm about to say St. Bernard Parish. I'm, a, I'm about to, I'm going somewhere with yeah. this, right? So, dog, you and me put shit on film for a living. Bet. We do that. We doing it right now. Yep. I'm watching the news last, last week because mm -hmm. they had the, uh, the tornado then ripped through. Right. And right. Araby took it hard. Oh, got right? Yeah, yeah. First time I seen him on film, you know what the first, and bless you, Fox, Fox Live, right. local first, right? Right. They didn't put the clip on, they didn't, they feel, I feel like they feel like we feel. So the first words out of his mouth, even if we don't get the federal aid, bitch, that's, that's your, your job. job. That's your job to go what fight for that. What you mean? That's your job to go fight for that. Dude. Even if we don't get the federal aid, we're going to we gonna work with the state and local government to do. Bitch, you don't have nothing to do with that. He come, the first words he put on film. He's starting from the defeaters attitude. For, yeah. He's starting from it. What you doing up there? Man. But what see, are you doing so, up there? So I, I I have to contrast like what I saw from every single broadcast that I saw OT on. Like he was in the pitch black, mm -hmm. knocking on doors, making sure people were okay. Like like when see I saw one interview he did right, and he named these people along this street by name. Yeah. Like, he didn't say just a neighbor right here. He's like, you know, Mr. Brown who stay right there. Like, he named the 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 people, the personalities, the human beings no. who were experiencing this tragedy. So you don't have a reason. You have no grounds to question whether or not he's connected to you and whether when he goes to whatever platform to fight, whether or not he's going to carry your experience in his heart when he goes to fight. You ain't got no reason to question that. Yeah. You got no grounds for that. That that That's the kind of leadership that I... I always fuss about when I talk about, you know, when our leaders get to those to those spaces, do they really represent the people? And like that, that's what I like to see, bro. Yeah. That's what I like to see, bro. I love that. So again, I'm not about to give him all of that time. I'm gonna pivot. Right? And the seg segways. Segway. <laughs> Segway. So we working on you it. Know, season dose. The big boys say we, you know, we gotta talk about Canton Trail. But let's <clears> so I'm going to just, Mardi Gras happened, right? Yeah. 
and you know, coming off the COVID with the restrictions and all that, depleted NOPD and all of that kind of stuff. Right. The biggest story coming out of Mardi Gras, she at Gallia Hall with the no mask. No mask at the Miz Bar. I was at Gallia Hall with the no mask. Yeah, I'm vexed up. Most of the people, I ain't gonna say most, pretty much all of the people was in there. Vaxxed up and they got the test because they were checking at the door. I'm about to say, if I understood correctly, you had to, you had to, yeah. you had to provide yeah, your Yeah, yeah. Louisiana Wallet the whole night. You can't even show the paper card. Right. No. You see the real, the real. I real. want to see on the books. Right. In the registry. Right. You ain't hear nothing about the, the DWI, DUI, nigga driving through the parade, slamming, hitting a bicyclist, running on neutral ground. None of that happened. Right. Lil one, they played their role, they let it blow over. Yeah. And the only thing that was really popping, like if you was on bourbon, which I don't really do, that's yeah, like that's touristy, touristy stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and not to minimize it, that's in, important, you know, that tourists feel safe coming into the right. city and whatnot. Right. But even that wasn't loose. So I'm going to tip my hat to, you know, T.D. Cantrell. Um, to the city Sean period. Ferguson, to the city period. Ferguson, they be giving this man, <clears throat> and I ain't gonna say they, it's white people, be mm -hmm. giving this man a hard time because he don't sound like they want him to sound when right. he doing the press conference. We ain't, she ain't right. appoint this man to do no press conference. Right. She appointed this to man to do work. To yeah. Right. Right. To don't pledge this, it out. To clean this yeah. city up. Yeah. Get the job done. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? So it's a in job that to respect, do. yeah, they getting mad because oh, they sending uh, the city on the parade route. They mad because they gotta sit out there all day um, with their tent to make sure they don't move the top and the tent and all that. Like, dog, that's not, that's you not, not even from here. That ain't legal anyway. That ain't, one, it ain't legal. <laughs> two, you ain't even from here. That ain't even. That's not. This legal. not for you. <laughs> that's not legal. You won't be on the streetcar line in the middle of the day. In the middle of the daytime. They're, they're working out. Bitch, I'm going to work. <laughs> I, I need to get off the streetcar right here. You worry about your tip. Yeah. yeah. You mad because y'all got to take shifts, go and get earled, and sitting on the goddamn neutral ground. So, so a nigga won't throw your shit away. So you could be in the front with Yeah. Day. So you could be in so the front So you could not day. even be in the front. Block everybody else shit. Rope your shit off and everything. Yeah, I saw that. I saw spray paint. The yeah! Spray paint. That's the new DK. You can't spray paint the media, bro. You no! can't do that. Like, Over the tracks and everything, exactly. though. Exactly. This is where we did. Like, this is going to yeah! be our spot. Yeah. Like, you own this. Yeah. Who the fuck is you? Wow, wow, West, man. I got a D for this spot. Yeah! Dumb. Homestead what? status. RTA had a high level. They really the track feel right like that. Right. But that's the two mm. things they got on her about. Right. Nobody got, you know, right. slammed, you know, fucked over going back after the parade. Nobody, kids got yeah. ran over, not, none of that. So they executed a lot higher level than what I thought I was it was. I was going to say, I honestly yeah, got to admit that I, I thought, thought it was going to be possible. Then I thought be was loose but goose. Yeah, because what I understood was, you know, the, especially with the impacts on the manpower, the, yeah. of course. They they had to concentrate everything to make Everybody. sure that the Mardi Gras experience was the safe, so that only, the, everything else was like, listen, you know, all the police stations was empty. The pot belly seventy year old white man, the only one that answering the call. <laughs> yeah, the front door locked. No, the front yeah. door locked. No, the yeah. front door locked. That bitch locked. Everybody on the street. 12, 14 hour shift, they yeah. made it happen. Yeah, they did. Gotta, they you made you gotta, it happen. You gotta give it to them. And again, you tip your hat to them. all of the, the front line. All, and it ain't even the front line at all. I'm talking about uh, homicide unit, yeah. uh, child abuse. This ain't everybody. what I do. But I'm out here. I don't here. Yeah, do this. This ain't what I do. But guess but I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm yeah, out here. Yeah, yeah. White and shirts the, out there. And yeah. 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 Former blues, BDU, the white shirts. All that. Yeah. I saw jump out uniforms, everything out they there. They out here. Right. They out shit. Right. Sean Ferguson damn near had to out do the detail yeah. uh -huh. at Gallia Hall himself. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So but then that but that also shows, man, like, you know, the the city as a whole, man, like the things that we need to really be able to fully enjoy everything that this city has in store for both its residents and the visitors. It's like we still got a lot of room to, you know what I'm saying, a lot of shit to improve on, man. So you alluded to OT. Yeah. 
And yeah. what I was thinking about, you know, as that we were preparing for the show and whatnot, is uh, I haven't seen any action from the city council. Not any legislation. I don't think we've been through a budget hearing yet. Mm -hmm. um, certainly no beef with Mayor Cantrell, you know, with a lot of them on the council kind of trying to position themselves for the mayoral race, you know, coming up after, you know, she leave out. She term limited, right? Right. right. So you would think they would be a little buck trying to do something. So, so look, I, I think, and, and, and I, I could be biased because I kind of know a couple of Speak them personally, it. right? Speak you on know, it. I know Brother Freddie personally. I know, you know, Brother Eugene personally. I know OT personally. So I kind of get the sense that these brothers, like, almost doubling down with their people first so they could get their get they, base. Get they, 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 they weight up in their pants yeah. so when they go step up no. to the administration, they, they, they bring in a different kind of weight. Because, look, I, I saw OT with the Mary Queen Viet folks. You know what I'm saying? I oh, saw, you got to. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying, Brother Freddie, he's still showing up to, to mentor his boys. You know what I'm saying? Brother Eugene, still showing up to mentor. So, like, no. you know, I feel like these brothers <laughs> doubling down on their so people, man. I saw what, the, you, what, you, what they supposed to do? I saw the politic in an action at the mayor's ball, right? All right. So, <laughs> I'm going to start with OT. He was like, okay, y'all know me, basically. Anything bad y'all about to say about me, it's been right said, out done. Yeah, we got to you know, play about it. I took my charge, I did my DVD. time. He loose. Right. Right? He on. In the like, street, in the bank. Yeah. With, the, with the selfie. Yeah. Yeah. Loose. Got the grandkids out there. He done walked down. Kissing the white the, babies. The, the whole I ain't announcing nothing. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> that, I don't even think he ate, drink. When I'm not leaving. Front line. OT had a great time. What? Pass. Fox, WDSU. O Everybody going to have a great film time. on me. Loose. He had a great time. Then they had other council members politicking behind the scenes, waiting at the elevator, posted up, up the steps, greeting people as they coming in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of them, loose bagoos. My spirit animal. Wet. Wet. Ooh. He don't give a mamly. I've been doing this. Yeah, I'm true to this. Everybody know what's going on I'm, with me. I ain't new to this. Yeah. Everybody knows what's going on. I'm going a, I'm to a wake up. When it's time to qualify, I'm going to flip a coin. I might run for mayor. I might not. Might Whatever. run for council again. Might yeah. not. Guess what? I'm loose yeah, I'm, tonight. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this morning. Yeah, what? <laughs> I've been waiting two years to get wet. And that's why I, yeah. that's why I knew when oh. we, had, we had the conversation about people coming down, I was like, son, these people been stalled what? of their favorite holiday of Yo. the year for two years. These people done started walking. Fuck a car. Yo. I'm walking to New Orleans from New York. Yo. I'm not need no car. I'm on my way now. I done, use, I done saved all my vacation time up for the last two years. And <laughs> what? But again, what's going on is... You can't hate on Cantrell. She told you, bitch, you can't get off the airplane without without the vax. Yeah. Without the test. Because the, the intention Period. is for the party to be loose. They, they and the way I open. can make the party to be loose is you got you, you got to show your paperwork. Huh? They look, you could get tested every single day. S sitting in 36F. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you could get tested every single day. <laughs> About, There's man. no excuse for you not to be vaxxed up right now. <laughs> Sir, put your penis down. <laughs> <laughs> no excuse. Are you dumb? Yeah. But and see, people that, still came. I'm about to say. They, people man, came. That, man, that did, people were safe. That did not deter anybody. Oh. I feel like the party was particularly loose. Yeah. With that fact that led on because to the Because it, it was that years. peace of mind yeah. status. It was that peace of mind We could get loose, and we ain't been able to get loose in two years. And oh, it did keep the people away who talking about, I don't want. So unpack this with me. Did it keep the people away who was the, the anti-vax and uh, I don't care about the wrong and stuff? Or did it demonstrate most people who bought this kind of life? Go take the private call. You go, yeah. You go take the private call. Yeah. 
That's what that, that's what I think. So that's what I think too. Like you don't. I mean, people know the pedicab, the cab, the Uber, the Lyft. All of that was in full play. Yeah, it was bartenders. Booked. It was booked. you know we not over serving nobody. Right. You know, so I think it really demonstrated like it's just un- like people. If you about this life, you are gonna take those precautions, and she knew that. And also, but I I think we gotta also give the people of New Orleans yeah. a whole I lot of credit you know? for you know one making the space inviting to everybody else while still. Carving out space for us to get particularly yeah. loose on our own yeah. in a two year absence, but also, I think making everything safe for, like, all right, I'm you my unit. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure we safe. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all unit safe. Y'all make sure y'all student unit safe, and then collectively we make sure everybody had a good time. And it's you know it's business on the line. Absolutely, it's, it's always money. Like you you know like with my family like prime time. Yeah, yeah this is Christmas we there. for us. Yeah, we there. You know, when it comes from Mardi Gras. Like, Speaking of, uh, don't be dumb. If you need a tuxedo. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> all right. Listen to me, folks. Yeah. That makes no sense. Yeah. Tuxedo. We the plug. Oh, man. The we plug. The, man, the, the plug. brick in the wall. Are you dumb? <laughs> we the plug. So, you know, like, it's dumb prime time for us. Shit. And it's uh, like, like you said, dog, the people in New Orleans, respectful. Absolutely. Respectful. They honoring, you know, we had the uh proper put your hospitality mask on and all yeah. that. Yeah. And this and this dog. She she people in New Orleans pulled it off. And what is gonna be interesting to see now that she got that kind of political capital, what is the you know the rest of the term gonna look, look like, like yeah. as it unfold because still very critical issues going and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about and we are gonna get to the DA and the crime yeah that's next yeah. but from economic development right you know fixing the in- infrastructure I don't know I've asked questions dog about the construction going on in my neighborhood they've been fixing the streets for eight years damn near. Son, eight I, years. I, I followed this page on Instagram called I think it's it's called Look at This Fucking Street. Yeah, that's the name. That's the name. <laughs> that's the name. That's the name of the page. And I'm telling you, bro, all they do. Mark that one for the gram. All all, all, all they do the is drive around the city Dude. and find shit like they like. If there's a pothole, you better believe <coughs> they're gonna fill it with some water and find and take a picture of somebody Dude. swimming in a pothole. Like they so, do shit like that. I live at one of those types of intersections. They didn't reroute it like the heavy trucks, heavy equipment, eighteen right. wheelers down my residential street. And I'm like, what is like for what purpose? And for that's, what purpose? That's, just, that's, that's residential and there's a school building. All yeah. Right. So, all right. The next block is an elementary school. They didn't tow up the land on the, the left side of the elementary school. <sighs> like, for what purpose? Then I was thinking a day, you know, there's a police cruiser parked on like diagonal. For, I okay. could see out the window on the intersection okay. with the block street, right? They've been a police cruiser parked there for at least two, three years. Every day, right? During daylight hours. Okay. And I'm like, I done got used to it. I done had to go blow on and go sleeping. He didn't let the uh the road close sign fall down. They didn't let power like Cox been out there two, three times a week running around. <laughs> so it really I'm like, okay, why during the day? And they finally click, they on detail. So Lil one won't rob all of the the cars right there. Because the parking lot directly across the street from me right. used to be the old Franklin Avenue Baptist Church parking lot. Yeah. And that's where the, the school employees park. That's where the construction. Yeah, because the school a block away. And the, yeah. the construction are directly across the street from my living room. Right. So the parking lot right there. And they out there during business hours, 5 o'clock, the police detail gone. And I'm like, and it finally clicked today. I'm like, Lil One is, uh, they ready. About to hit it. What? Z. Been ready to hit it. And he Z'd in there. Been ready to hit it. He knocked out. So, now, segue. 
little one. Mm. So, yeah, very sad situation on a number of different. Problems. First of all, <laughs> from you know, this woman, I I think she was in her seventies. Seventy four. Called Jack, just running to the car in the morning. Like getting something out the car, I don't know. What, don't matter. Yeah. In Mid City, four of them, you know, all the, you know, they had video. All four of them look like one. Why are you not in school? Most important. That's the biggest question. One. I had why are you not in school? Mid- then call Jack. This woman. You. They can't even call Jack a nigga right, dog. They didn't carjack this woman, can't even kick her out the car. Her arm caught in the seatbelt, and they didn't drag this woman. Blocks. Bless her heart. Blocks, bro. And, yeah, all the neighbors running outside. Trying to stop them. Yeah. Like, dog, just, Man. what are you doing right now? And Man. she died. That's the textbook definition of felony murder. Textbook. So now, Jason Williams, what you going to do? What you going to do? You said you wasn't going to charge no juveniles as, you know, adults. You're facing a populace that wants. You got to. I want to. They got to have that pound of flesh. They got to have that. Like, there's really nothing else that's going to satiate, you know, like, the how, how people feeling about that. So, right? as, a, as a lawyer and someone with a, you know, a political bent, you got to. If it don't, even if they don't wind up getting slammed for felony, which is death penalty status. Mm-hmm. Let's put that in the street. If you get convicted of felony murder, that's death penalty. You got to charge them. You got to indict them. Yeah. You got to go to the grand jury. And I don't think you can convene a grand jury in Orleans Parish and not get the felony murder charge for this particular situation. Right. Now, yeah. I'm and saying crime. you need to do that as a deterrent. But see, the thing is, like, you, you got to do that. You don't have to question what their intent was. Yeah, that's not what felony murder is. But I'm just I'm I'm yeah. just saying like it's that that's not even something that you have to question whether or not they were trying to or not. Like they there was no concern no. for this woman's like life, health, safety, none of that. Okay, like you you know. On the video and and to be clear, mm. they like the news gave you know the eyewitnesses a chance to account for what they saw. Right. And that, like I said, everybody was chilling, man. Everybody was thinking about their grandma when they heard that. Yeah. If you look at the the video, it was like a home surveillance, whatever, yeah, whatever. It was from, it was from my job. And you see all four of them walk. They look like they was going to the candy store, dog. They going by lemon heads and big shots. Right. And one of them said, fuck it. Let's call Jack somebody. So you got to find a way to deter that kind of behavior. And like I always say, Lil will read the paper too. Right. If he get on there talking about, oh, they juveniles, we got to talk, they charge the juveniles and up, it's about to get crazy. It's already crazy. And like the frequency with which this happens has exploded. Absolutely. It's just that this particular situation was a, especially a, was heinous. It's a, a pin. Yeah. yeah it was you like got to put yeah. this. Yeah. yeah There's a pin in it. This is where you say this shit got to stop. So I, I have, you know, I, I think part of my affliction is when I see things like this, I'm, I am not inclined to take. 100% of the, and I don't want to say blame because that sounds so cheap and easy to just kind of throw it away, but the, the responsibility for this kind of stuff, I'm, I'm afflicted such that I can't just say, okay, they made the decision, they are fully responsible, I, and I, they have to be responsible for the choices that they made. But at the same time, a 
15-year-old didn't create the choices that they had to choose, right? Like a 15-year-old didn't create the circumstances that put them in a place where they felt like, I don't care if she die or not. Yeah. Like, like that, the, I'm, I'm not going to blame that 15-year-old for that, right? So then I, I have to back up and say, okay, like, damn, like, oh, are we not going to stop and say what are the systems, what are the social networks, what are the social fibers that failed all of them young people? How many times, right, for them to get there? So while we are, you know, making them stand just as tall, just as firm in responsibility for the decisions that they made and the result in the home to this lady and ultimately her life being lost, at the same time, we're going to need our education system. We're going to need our social service systems. We're going to need our government to just to be just as erect and firm in your responsibility and saying that you failed these young people and how many just like them. There, there's some young man who had the same circumstance. He just didn't make that decision. He, he in the same spot. He ready to go off. He ready to become the next one. Yeah. Right. So so where, where do we make sure that our attention and our energy as we're trying to like I, you can't say remedy, but, you know, uh, a penalize these young people for the decisions they made, how do we bolster all of the other shit to make sure we don't have no more young people or reduce the chances that our young people, that that's the only choices that they got for them? So I'm going to be, I'm going to be, <clears throat> I want to add more nuance to right. what's going on, right? right? With respect to, you know, personal responsibility and accountability, the reason we have a juvenile justice system is because we recognize that young people's brains are not developed to make these kind of ca calculations about risk, reward, accountability that the, that the cr criminal legal system imposes on adults. That's correct. Right? I agree. So, I agree and I want to add, I don't think any of them went into this warning or not caring about whether or not this woman died. I think that's the last thing that, that they wanted. Mind. Right. With that said, you have to deter the behavior at the outset. Yeah. Like walking to the store, it should not pop into your mind. Let's go that, rob somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm with you. Like it was a fucking Nissan Versa, dog. Like. Come on. And then, so with that said, I was listening to, you know, I, I think it was a legal forum um, that one of the law schools was, was hosting. And I never heard it quite articulated like this, but this makes the most sense and is applicable to this conversation. The length of punishment is much less effective in deterring behavior than the certainty of punishment. Right. So right now, young people don't, or whoever, criminals generally in this city, because of the manpower shortage and NOPD, I can get that. because, you know, the DA is equally focused on writing, you know, uh, criminal injustices of the past. Right. As he as he is on maintaining law and order in the city, their calculation about whether or not I will get caught is totally skewed. Because it's about whether or not how it's not even how long. How long? Yeah, I'm not about to even be punished. Versus if you know we catch you, we slam. We slamming ass. you. It's understood. 10, 20, yeah. 30, 40 that years makes, that makes don't make a difference. May versus Shaft. I'm not about to get slammed. May versus Shaft. So that's where I think he really <clears throat> got to plant the flag on this one. All right. I think all four of them have been taken into custody, you know, and the reason that their identities haven't been released yet is because he's still determining whether to charge them well, as the, adults the, or The 17-year-old, young, yeah, the young, that's the the young man, majority. yeah, his, his information was released, and ultimately – um, there was a discussion about his previous encounters with the law. Yeah, you know, going back to oh, I think you know, they he was like twelve years old, right? So they they go they go they go dug up everything. which shouldn't even be available, publicly available. 
Back Unless he was charged as an adult when he was 12. 12, which, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, he, he in a tough situation. I'm up two minds about it, but on this particular case, I think he got to plant the flag. You got to lean to the public good, him. though, bro. You got to, I mean, it's your job. You public got safety. To, yeah, exactly. Yeah, bro. you got to lean to the now, public good, and, man. And again, you know, I'm, I, you know, my wife and I are child free. I work in the school system. You work, you know, on the periphery and, and you know, I ain't going to say the periphery. You in, in the school, school, yeah. you know, running it. I'm in the school still, not directly responsible for the overall. Man, you got a team. Yeah, yeah. You got a team. <laughs> so, um, and they go, like, one, people want to feel safe. People want their families to feel Man, safe. That's a basic human need, But the bro. school's not engaging nobody. Dog. Oh, it's still, I, I still firmly believe that you can go and get the education that you want. Right. At most of the public schools in the city, they've gotten better in making sure if you show up. We got you. We got you. Yeah, agreed. The challenge that the schools are facing is, what do I do after school? You don't see no jobs. What are the, what are the careers you can go into after you graduate high school besides hospitality and getting hit by 18 wheels? Look, but that shit is compounded. That's it. But look, that shit is compounded because... When I go home and there's nothing for me to do, it's nothing. I'm bringing that frustration back to school yes. the next morning. All right? of that, and you don't know how to deal with that. No, right? It, if you not raising your kids to be cold, cold, like discipline, practice every day, cold basically, as something. Basically, CD daughter. Yeah. Basically, cold as something outside a high GPA and ACT score. If you ain't there's CD nothing daughter. for them. Right. There's nothing for them. So look, so to that end, I got to shout out the love doctor, bro. Like, like, he is fighting now because of that very issue. Like, he said, you know, it's, it's, it's sinful 